Thank you, uh, Professor Oda. Indeed, uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the Technion, the deans of the faculties, Professor Biam, Professor Schwartz, the faculty members, and most importantly, the guests and the graduates of the Technion. Uh, the second uh, conference takes place during one of the historic years of the Technion. We are celebrating the 100th anniversary of uh, laying the cornerstone of the historic Technion building in Hadara Carmel in Haifa. It took place on April 11, 1912. And uh, if you look at the picture of these 35 people who are standing by that stone, I believe that uh, none of them could even dream in his wildest dream that one day this technicum will have a faculty of uh, computer science. Even I'm not so sure if they thought about electrical engineering, let alone about a conference on computer engineering. And uh, during the summer, we spent uh, countless hours discussing how we are going to celebrate the 100th anniversary. And lucky for us, the Nobel Committee in Stockholm decided for us and uh, bestowed the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for 2011 on Professor Schertmann from uh, the Faculty of Materials Engineering, who is the third Technion faculty to win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in seven years. By the way, none of the three is a chemist, which is a different story. <laughs> and then uh, there was another committee uh, convening in uh, New York and this committee is the uh, committee for the development of economic development of the city of New York, chaired by uh, Bob Steele, uh, the vice mayor of New York. And they decided that the Technion, together with Cornell, uh, won the competition, the international competition, to establish an applied research center in the heart of Manhattan. This competition attended by 38 universities at the first stage, 18 at the second, seven were at the short list, and the Technion and Cornell won the competition. The city is giving us uh, free land, 10 acres, and uh, $100 million to start the project. I must say that uh, universities are uh, prestige, are built on such events. But if you look at the history of the Technion, I think the claim to fame of the Technion is different. We just completed a study on the contribution of Technion graduates to the Israeli economy. We used the same methodology of that of MIT, and we interviewed 4,000 of our graduates. The results of this study were published, and the book came yesterday. It's called Technion Nation. Why Technion Nation? Because this is the start of Startup Nation. And these 4,000 graduates, the career changed the economy of this country from that of Jaffa Oranges to semiconductors. One quarter of the graduates, of the 4,000 graduates, were involved with a startup company. 60% of them hold managerial positions from a CEO all the way to a team leader. One in four had at least one patent. The average number of patents is 3.9. Their annual, this is interesting, the annual contribution to income tax in Israel of Technion graduates, all of them, is $16.6 billion. Total output is $21 billion. So one university changed the economy of an entire country. And when I asked Mayor Bloomberg of New York, why did you pick this university, the Atlantic, the Mediterranean separated between us, he said, you are the country that was changed by a single university, and you are the university. The Technion established the Computer Engineering Center as a joint project between two of its flagship faculties electrical engineering, computer science. We hope that this center will become a world leader in applied research and basic research, merging hardware and software. 
and I was jokingly speaking with Professor Orda before, and I said, we need to add to this center a poet. Why we need a poet? Because we are running out of words. What's going to be the next word after cloud, after zeta byte, and yuta byte? We need more words. But I hope that, uh, again, this center will become a leader, not only in Israel, but worldwide. I wish you enjoyable, fruitful, and successful conference. Thank you very much.